Namaste! Namaste, big cat! Come in! Come on! I have angel! Namaste! Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your daily message or massages. Big cat. Today we're going to talk about the homosexual. We are going to be going in on the homosexual black rubbish bag tails. Yes, baby, we're going in. The homosexual. Let's get right up in there. Look just like you and me, but they are homeless. Cause they're soulless Yes! Shape-shifting, black-hearted and mean They are homeless and soulless Yes, baby! We are going in! Had to get me mics so you can feel me Let's get the um, planetary energies out of the way As we are in the what? The bosom of the lion's gate, darling dear Mm -hmm. Did you catch that fade last night? We also have a new moon in Leo, right? Leo is the fifth house ruled by the sun. The sun is a masculine energy. It's about your vitality, your life, your get up and go, how you express your creativities. Mm -hmm. Let me just take the music down a tad. Right? The new moon in Leo, right, is depicted by a big cat, no less. Hey, hey! So what? Rob, we are in what? Wood company today. The celestial bodies say yes to the big cat. Mm -hmm. Leo new moon delivers a many a, many a, yes, many a divine download. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the signs, the signs. The signals, right? The synchronicities of it all, big cat. This new moon, you're, you're called to seek fresh avenues of inspiration. Mm -hmm. And make sure those inspirations align with your deepest desires on this Malkuth. It's, being un it's about you being unapologetically yourself. Even if someone else finds it awkward or controversial, stop watching you. Stop stalking. Don't look. They've got all of these avenues to pay to what? Look away, Scotty boy. But yet, all eyes is on the throne. Yes, maybe. Well, I said it many times. Someone must clap. Better them than you, big cat. Better them than you. They them an arm. Mm -hmm. You must, I repeat, you must practice enlightened self-promotion. That's right. Enlightened self-promotion. What's that? Big up your blood clot self. Your good, good self. Your nice, clean self. Mm -hmm. Big up yourself. Celebrate yourself. Love yourself. Spoil yourself. Have fun. Showcase your blood clot self. You are your best and biggest fan, right? And hardest working promoter of yourself. Big up yourself. Big up your blood clot self in this Leo season. Mm -hmm. It's a chance for you to what? Strengthen your backbone. What do you mean? You're not having no what? Monkeys on your back. Your back is not broad enough for a homosexual who is what? Shape-shifting, black-hearted and mean. They are homeless cause them soulless. Yes, baby. Seen a number 33 in the chat at the moment. The same age as Bob Marley and Jesus Christ. Ascended masters. Mm -hmm. This new meaning Leo will give you the chance to renew your goals. Make sure you don't have any critters, right? From the back ward with yarn for hair, looking like they need a facial, a bath, and antibiotics, and not necessarily in that order. Mm-hmm. If 
you're interested in moonology, my favorite book is Yasmin Boland. Pick it up. Tap on the link to my Amazon storefront. And what? Acquire it. Start. As we go into the what? The hobosexual black rubbish bag tells. Let's call in the energies of guidance and protection, big cat. Why not? Security was here anyway, so we might as well just be thankful. Energies up. Let's dive in, big cats. What's the overall energy? Let's get her arm. Has the fairies been off with my book? No. Big cat, they released my ring this morning in the a.m., around 3 a.m. I'm not going to tell you where it was because we shut up. And they may take it again. Mm -hmm. Let's dive right in. We're going to use the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. Produced by pa Kyle, I think you said Pile Gray. Yeah, it is a great pile for the hobosexual. Mm -hmm. Black hearted and mean, they are homeless, cause they're soulless. Wow, lots of cards. We're only gonna take the one that was on top. This is about mountains, darling dear. Overcoming many obstacles as you what? Put yourself above the surface. Showcasing your blood clot self. Bigging up your blood clot self. Your good, good, clean self. Full of serendipity. Mm -hmm. It's also about stand your ground, Scotty. This is what? The season of the what? Ballerina Ninja. You are silent, but deadly. More fool the hobosexual that dare to overturn your particular stone when you are in your season of what? Lovely, fabulous, and gorgeousness. Mm -hmm. Stand your ground, Scotty. You will fight them on the beaches. You will fight them on the trenches. In the words of what? Winston Churchill. Posh clap. Yes. Right. Mountains. Mountain is exactly where Ibex needs to be. Conquering everything one step at a time. Holding their focus like what? Cool hand look. Mm -hmm. You're having a laugh, mate. Where is it? Is my eyes looking too quick? I know you're saying to me, Case, it's in up, no, baby. It's not in an alphabetical order that I can see with my two eyes, plus my what? Spectacles of truth. This is something else. I was looking too quick. It had to be there. Page what? One, two, eight. We have the energy of what bad ass alchemist ways the magician as above so below psalms 23 5 set right psalms 23 6 much and anointed mm -hmm. we, the energy of the two is the high priestess water and moon energy and we have the eight the eight for what the lion's gate mm -hmm. strength leo energy mm -hmm. One, two, eight. Let's quickly dive in. Move on at a hot trot. Give you the opportunity to screenshot it and read it at your leisure as we push on. Right? Stand your ground, Scotty. Hold firm to what you believe in. 
or are focused or are focused on. Who is it? Who could it be? What am I pre? They know I'm doing a live. Them wicked, them wicked. These homosexuals are always trying to what? Ear hustle, right? And what? Dive in and cut in on your gangster. Know this. Messed up my music and everything. What's going on? I feel picked on. You know what? Let me turn off the ringer. All of these things trying to prevent me from giving you the intel. What's going on? Be prepared for obstacles. People trying to put what? Foothills. Because they can't be mountains. There's nothing that an Ibex can't cross or climb. Just saw 11, 11, 11. 11, 11, right? A highly spiritual number. This proves that you've leveled up, darling dear. Mm -hmm. All in the presence of Sputnik. Right? Let me turn turned off the ringer so it can't ring on here. But everything else will ring because it's all connected with all this Apple stuff. As I was saying before, it was rudely interrupting me, right? Know that heaven and earth are supporting you. Mountains are strong and wise. They are rooted deep in the earth and reach high into the sky. They have been where they are for thousands of years. They have been home to animals, right? They have been climbed by humans, right? And tree sloths, yeah? And they have, they have seen seasons come and go. Yes, baby, with the bags, darling dear, the trash bags. Mm -hmm. No matter what, what has happened to them, they have remained strong, immovable, and unshakable blood. We respond, we don't react. We get a legal team, darling dear. Full on rich white lady season. You haven't got the hairline for no tongue wrestling, right? Mm -hmm. So they offer the spiritual energies of strength, and resilience. Nothing like when a big cat decides to chew off their foot to get away from dark situations, right? Or lose a lane with what bottom feeders? Mm -hmm. Mountain energy is powerful because it's firmly rooted in the great mother and reaches high into the great father. If you're feeling challenged or pressured at this time, challenged or pressured, who is it? Who feels challenged or pressured? Hit me up in the comments. Don't email me. All the big cat needs to see this. What could it be? Right? You are resilient and grounded and the energy and air of the mountain is giving you unshakable strength to be who you are. Take time to root yourself deeply in the energy of the earth before welcoming in the energies of heaven. If you, if you, if you're not sure, what you need to do next, the mountain card invites you to stay exactly where you are. Talk things over with those around you, not a bottom feeder. They are full of trickery and skullduggery and will have you, what, stabbed in the back, front and neck before you can say, I'm still a bit confused, could you clear up the last point? No! Uh -uh. You will be whole and, and well at the end of this current situation. And it will not stand in the way of your future growth and expansion, darling dears. Yeah. Big Cat Chronicles continues. Let's continue. Let me cut off this fan. As we dive in. Right, let's get two soul energies to go beside this. See what else is going on. As you watch, stand firm, resilient. Reaching what? Deep into Mother Earth and straight up into Father Sky. Yeah, love it too. Friendships and pride. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Once I've checked their birth natal chart, their family lineage, and what, old, and what their agenda is, right? And what did say pride? I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Wow. You know what? I can't really go for that there. Because you can't really see yourself in everyone. Because some are what? Black hearted and mean. They are homeless. Because they're soulless. Yes, baby. Remember, pride. 
always comes before a fall. Especially where what? Ego is in full effect. Everything God opposes. How many, was it a friend? How many of us have them? Ones we can depend on. This is about discipline, dis disciplining yourself, darling dear. Focusing on what you want. Without discipline, you're going to fail. This is what? Faith without works, darling dear. Dodo dead. Mm -hmm. This is about you, what? Continuing to live your life intentionally. Allowing the what? Those in the background, the forgotten, right? The yes, the years, right? To feel the usher, the burn, as they continue to what? Peep on what you've got going on, as they count their trash bags. Yeah, don't worry, the maid will be along soon. Three sloughed to a penny. And come with what? A pound of unhappiness, right? And bad luck. Mm-hmm. Oh. Big Cat, you turned your back on the toxic and toxicity, right? Shined off your third eye. Realize that the whole world is in your hands. And you're about you're about getting great. You understand. Or now under overstand, I should say. Right? That situation that was sent. It was sent to wake you up. Right? Put you on the on your path to graciousness, knowing that you are righteous and anywhere you go is righteous. Because what? You are blessed, highly favored and feeling the full effect of the new moon in Leo. Ready to showcase your blood clot self, your God, God. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nancy Vasquez, please. Nancy is what? She's a, um, a filmmaker, director, and actress. She's got a new movie out called Moth. Please, Nancy, put your link in the comments so that all of the big cats can go and peruse it at their leisure. Mm-hmm. What's this? What did I say? Highly intuitive. Got your third eye on that bitch or Mitch, the queen of cups. Your unconditional love. Your good, good. Yay, though you walked through the valley of the shadow of death. You feared no evil, right? Because you what? You cultivated your common sense once again, darling dear. The Queen of Cups mm -hmm. is represented by water energy. This speaks about you what? Being extremely loyal, loyal to a fault. This is the season where you are what? Choosy and picky with your loyalty. You don't want it pulled about like taffy because I told you, big cat, you'll end up in prison and we can't be imprisoned. We big cat needs to be free. So we continue continue to what? Boss up on a bitch. Hey, hey! Yes! Big up yourself. You're really realizing that you're unconditional here. Uh, leave my tongue alone, you karmics. Leave my verbiage. As I was saying, you are realizing your unconditional love is unique. You took the time to look look and see the goodness, right, in others. But you have to realize you wasn't looking deep enough, blood. They was they was what? Full on what? Double gangers. Judas is in Peter suits, right? You are highly intuitive, nurturing, loving. If you are a parent, your progeny are well taken care of. Because the Queen of Cups takes the time to use her intuition to guide her to what the bad darling dear and peace abundance is your go-to move as you sip on that cup of righteousness your majesty understanding that you hold the whip and they hold the trash bag the rubbish bag the black rubbish bag because what they're shape-shifting and mean. They are homeless. Cause them soulless. Yeah. I dare you to try and get that chewed out your cranium today. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh-huh. Yes, baby. This is your energy. All up and in this. Let's see what's going on. Going wrong. I, I nearly said on and it came out as wrong. <laughs> what's going on with the homosexuals? Those opportunists that have what? Are able to change at the drop of a hat. 
They are what? They listen intentively to your every utterance filing it away in their devilish files, right? Their cranium is like the seven what? The seven levels of Dante's hell. Yes, baby. They file it away so they can beat you with it at a later date and keep you what? In other words. What's going on around the homosexual? Because pride just go for a before a fall. You've got too much pride to be associated with this person. When you got rid of them, don't get the black bags. You've got to leave. <laughs> You've got to leave. Your stressors have been activated. And you was at what? A dark turning in your life. It was either jail or put them out. Jail put them out. You put them out. Prison is not the place for a big cat. You took your god god and poured it back into self and took a time to sit down. This is about you what? Going into your subconscious darling dear. Blowing away those clouds of confusion. Why? Because you are a big cat. You are ibex. You have purpose and you've got a mission to complete on this Malkuf. One that you must lead using the what? But the Bushido Reedy. I've to, listen, let me get up close and personal with you right now, right? Bushido Reedy, I've told you many times, right? You are righteous. You are courageous. You have compassion. Respect. What is the respect? Do you respect because you have power, darling dear? You understand not everybody can take the full brunt of when you turn right and I on them then them your your truthfulness you lead with the truth it is your cloak and your armor your integrities your honor and your loyalty as well as your self-control darling dear so that you embody and exemplify all of the first seven rules right let's get back to that what that trash bagger Trying to hide their true nature, eh? But we're patient. What's going on here? What's this? Ah! Oh! They're in a third party. They're in a bit of a triangulation at this moment in time. Not sure who to choose, right? If they've got a partner, they've got the, their partner has sister wives and sister husbands, right? I don't know if they know about all of this, but this is what's going on. Ah, oh, so business as usual. Mm-hmm. Three of Cups, darling, India is represented by what? Cancer energy. Mm -hmm. As well as Mercury energy. This is about them knowingly putting people in these states and circumstances. Right? Mm. What's this? Listen. What did I just say? They're all codependent. It's like, it's like a what? What do you call it? A body of snakes. Is it a den of snakes? They're all on each other. This is also the nine of pentacle in the reverse. This is a situation that is highly in debt, right? Brock pocketers, buddy, have you got a dime? Imagine that. Who, who fucks down in this day and age? Who fucks down? Hit me up in the comments if you know such a person that fucks down. I don't know. This is crack on crazy to me. Mm-hmm. What else? Right. Look! I command a Decepticon. Listen. A twisted, distorted emperor. Right. This person is a tyrant, a narcissist, emotionally manipulative. If you are co-parenting with this person, listen. Them Legodarians, they ain't helping your blood. They are missing in action. Right. Yes, baby. The Ten of Wands. Right, they've put down the burden of the progeny, darling dears, and they couldn't give two figs or one good damn as they what gather the trash bags. They had to get it together. Mm -hmm. The emperor on its face, darling dears. The brock pocketer's body. Have you got a dime on its face, darling dears? Right, but they are rich. With tree sloth, the horde, they've got the money, the peas blood, 
to pay the bill, the mobile bill, to keep in contact with said ward. And it's working out swell for them, right? They've got all the panani in the world to give them, but not a penny to grace their pocket. They are on the lookout. And you know, when they're looking, they're looking for a vacant orifice. Hey! Hey, Epiphany Proudfoot, glad you could pop in. Fist bump. Yes! Spying on all your gorgeous, fabulous loveliness. Yes! Would love to cut you down to size, right? They are curious, right? Where did all that creativity come from? How was you able to get your new chariot of righteousness? Change your tax bracket. Get what promotions, right? When they were there to stab, stab, and stab again. Yes. Highly immature, right? This is somebody, right, that pops off. They use their words, darling dear, to get to the core. Get you in other words before you can say glickety split. They are homeless, cause them soulless. Shape shifting and mean. They are homeless, cause they soulless. Yes, baby. Mm-hmm. Watching whatever you've got going on, Sputnik, I say. Let's get two more cards out. Oh, gosh. Pentacle is a foot. Scratch with me, big cats. Get right into the crevices. <laughs> when Grace is a foot, I always share with the big cat. Mm -hmm. Clarify this. Oh, okay. The last two cards here. In the reverse. Temperance. Right. Sagittarius energy. This is what somebody's trying to what take away their, their mind, right? They're trying to float, right? On a cloud of cognitive dissonance, right? One that is peppered with lies, subterfuge, and both swanky, right? Mm -hmm. Notice, they think they're using the horde when the horde is using them. Being told lies are plenty, so the triangulation has widened. The triangulator is being triangulized. Wow, that was a mouthful. This is a lot of bad energy. Mm -hmm. The moon on its face, darling, the Pisces energy. The homosexualists what? Feeling as though that they want to end their problems, but they're not no they don't know how, right? I told you they're drinking their own opium and, and getting cognitive dissonance. Good, right? They are trapped in what their unwise desires. This is a cheater and a liar. Mm -hmm. A dastardly duo on any day of the weeks. Big cat, still scratching blood. Yeah, as they want to come and scratch at your door with the bag, black bags. They then put them down on the ground because they will see movement under the plastic. Hey, hey! Mm -hmm. Messing with my volumes. Yeah, they're going through it, right? Released all kinds of what responsibility to the to the progeny, right? Don't want to give up the bag because they haven't got it. Then don't have it. Haven't sought any form of what spiritual guidance in this situation. Temperance on its face, darling dears. This is really annoying. Yeah, they are keeping up appearances just like Hyacinth Bouquet. Mm -hmm. And did I tell you that they were stalking? Let me tell you something. Nothing like a homosexual, right? To get a PhD in what the big cats got going on. Yeah, they are spying. Sputnik, spying. Bitter, jealous, right? And on the balls of their feet as merchants of slander, right? Continue to be unbothered. Are you bothered? This is victory and success of su after successes, right? Let's clarify these cards. Where's my miniature right away? Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Because you've got it like that. Six of Pentacle in a position to give unto others. Why? Because you have multiple streams of income, darling dear. Pinkies up. Your money is what? 
Your money is loud, but you shut up. You say nothing. You have what? A caring nature. You are a humanitarian, darling dear. You understand what? How to give back. As you give, you get. As you get, you give, darling dear. Always. All days. Six of peas on it. In the upright. Mm -hmm. Represented by Taurus as well as the moon energy. You've assessed many a situation. And you understand the Pentakele gave you power. And what is power? Power is power! Yes! Okay, now that we've got that straight, let's move on. Mm -hmm. This is about you being able to what? Solve any issue coming your way. Why? Because you take the time. You take your time to what? Assess, right? All possible outcomes. You do the what? Law 29 of the 48 Laws of Power of the Wendy Williams. Planning all the way to the end. Also while using your what? Your third eye and your discernment. Some of you are what? Being gifted by what? Patrons. For being what? Spiritual. Using your abilities. Use what you've got, big cat. It's a gift. Queen of Cups is somebody that uses their, their gifts to heal others. Yes, compassion. You have it, then don't. What about the third party situation they've got themselves in? Right, let's leave that Queen of Wands where she is. This is a lot of intel. Right, yes, baby. The triangulation, right? They made that decision. They chose that shit, right? It was their wish. Right? They thought they was king of the shit heap and realize it's all. Fresh shit shining in the sunlight, darling dears. Heartbreak hotel. They better show up about that because we don't care. What's on the base? Didn't I say we don't care? We couldn't give two fits. Stand your ground. Everything lines up in the reed, darling dears. From the top and straight back at you, babe. Mm -hmm. Listen, you put your third eye on that bitch, isolated stack, went into the DNS and got great. This is about spiritual awareness. Mm -hmm. Inviting spirit to what? Rub me down. Make me nice. I want to be made over. This is what you said. And Father God said, well, all right, just be vigilant. Don't allow that she's naive back. You moved on. Much to their sadness. You moved on. You put on that red cloak of wisdom. Held on to your what? Ace of Wands. Your spirituality. Your willpower. Your passions and your drives. Your creativity, darling dear. You understood you was the whole kitten caboodle. And you shut shit down. You removed the power grid from this emotional drain. Yes, I told you. Some of you are using your occult knowledge, knowledges. Yeah, some of you are astrologists. Astrologers, tarot readers, energy healers, aromatherapists. Some of you are writing down shit, which is healing to others, to many. You are being celebrated. Continue to what? Plan, plot, and strategize. Mm -hmm. Law 29, once again, of the 48 laws of power, highly intuitive, victory and success is assured. This goes to what? Seven of Wands, block party. Pay no attention, right? To those that are what? Rubbernecking on what you've got going on. Always coming with what? If shit, look, I can't make it up. Divine wants you to wash your face like David from the Brock Pocketus. The Five of Swords to me is what the High Commander Decepticon in their true nature, triangulating someone else who is unsuspecting, right? Mm -hmm. Right on the in debt, they're laughing at you, right? And the what? The dead man, right, is coming to collect their due. They're about to be homeless because they're soulless. Get the black bags, please. Mm -hmm. As you sit on your throne, darling dear, 
this is also what a king of Pentecale. They thought they they thought they was the pen, king of Pentecale on your coins, right? With your energies. But what are they really? Listen, it's all in their mind blood. It's not reality. We know what the reality is. Shape shifted and mean. They are soulless and them homeless. Yes, baby. Trapped in the mind of their own mind. This also speaks about some of them will be going to prison. What for? Misappropriation of funds, darling dear. Being locked up, put in a prison with other what? Prisoners. Yeah, this also speaks about a legal situation. One that they've kept you entrapped in for a while, right? What's gonna happen? Big cat, give on to Caesar what is due unto Caesar. If they owe you a coin, trust and believe. It may be slow in the coming, but they will have to pay on the back end. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a quick shift and see what else is going on. Right? They've released the burden. The burden of what? The responsibility of progeny. If this was your husband, this is not your husband, blood. This one is for the streets. You saw the tree sloth, right? They chose to go into these situations, right? They made a head over heart decision. What? Listen, that's a slip of the tongue. The of the a head over the black heart, right? Decision. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work out. They are heartbroken and spying. Want to tame in trouble? Hey, we've got something for time travelers, mate. Where is my shiznai? We've got an A. Time travel will hit them in mid mid stride. Rip all their black legs to shreds <laughs> with one swoop, blood. Because you know those those rubbish bags. They're very delicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, release release all forms of responsibility, right? And feel and felt as though they get along, right? Well, in this world, this also speaks about what? Being in a toxic situation, one that is fraught with jealousy, darling dear. The ten of ones on its face, Saturn as well as Sagittarius energy. Feel listen. Their burdens are insurmountable, right? They can't see an end of these burdens, right? And this is driving them crack on crazy. Did I tell you that they have what? The tongue, which is surgical, with the if shit. Whomsoever is being plagiarized, right? Because you have to remember, they always have a nuclei, right? The head tree sloth is getting it. Mm -hmm. Trust and believe them just, them just leg on their moat. Right? All that fiery energy on whomsoever. But not your progeny because they're missing. Thank God. The trash took out itself. What if they release this burden of? Right? Of anything good. Of say of doing good, right? Doing the right thing. Saying the right thing. They've released the burden of the truth, darling dear. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it, right before me own peepers. Mm -hmm. They're looking for somebody who is more up, up, somebody who is up and coming. They're looking for a more low partner. They're looking for what? A mummy. Yes, baby, they want a mummy to take care of everything so they can go there and take care of everything. Yeah, you know what I mean. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, pinkies up. Nay, shown. Mm -hmm. This seems something as a good idea. This also speaks about messages coming through. What message do they want to come through with? Oh, they want to come through like a lamb. I told you, shape shifting. You better be Peter 5 8 up in this bitch. Trying to say I'm harmless. Let me in, please. The wolf at the door, darling dears. Right? Because they see that you have multiple streams of income, that you're loyal, dependable, stable, right? And whatever you decide to turn your mind to is lucrative. They see that your hairline has returned and they want it. 
Right, they want to lay siege to it. Told you. They want to come through with more problems and troubles than you can possibly handle as you're trying to big up your blood clot self, your good good. Hey, told you. Skullduggery is afoot. Right, this goes to what? Eight of Swords. They're all caught up in their cranium. They don't know how to approach it, but they want to come back through. I told you by any means necessary. It's not, you see the thing is, it's only, you only get a good perspective on what really was in your hemisphere, right? Once you don't have it anymore. I told you, seeking better, more terror, was it, was it your terra firmin? Terra firmin, different grounds, darling dear, right? Cutting shapes out there in the world. You have the whole world in your hands. Continue to turn your shapely back. Because you're secure in yourself, this is about being controlled. Some of you have moved your domicile, about to move your domicile, new jobs, promotions, whatever you're doing, you are stable in them streets. And they're spying as they're in their cops, right? With no spiritual guidance, right? Being told lies to, right? And this also speaks about what? The malicious, maliciousness of words. That's also spell casting, not realizing it's going to come back. What you give out, you get back. Right? The spotlight is on you, darling dear. Continue to pour away, right? What no longer serves you. This is about being poised for greatness. Some of you are about to go viral. Could be in your community, could be online, right? But this also speaks about a, what? A benefactor, sponsorships, whatever. Everything is going your way. Hurrah! Mm -hmm. The star, right? Aquarius energy. This is about you having what raised your vibration, understanding that you are a divine child. Your dreams, your wishes are being fulfilled. Your health has improved. And you're looking lovely. You look, you look lovely naked. Listen, not that they will see. Uh -uh. Not unless they're what? A peeping Tom. Listen, they're going to go to what? Crisis point, right? And battle stations to try and get back through. Yeah. Told you. Hockey sticks at dawn. A lot of fighting, right? To be the head tree sloth. Are you mad blood? Fighting for a bit of heartbreak. Uh uh. That is not lovely, fabulous, or gorgeous. What about this malicious words, the evil spellcaster, right? Father God has him in hand. I told you, what you give, you get, right? The Hierophant is my God card in tarot, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This is about boundaries, right? Being set in. I told you, nothing like when karma, right? Drives up with the wiki 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 the plate remix. This is also about the what? Some of you are going to be on are online and your business is about to be recognized recognized as the major craftsperson in your field. Unique. Be unapologetic about that because you're about to be paid. Never the maid. Never. This is about what? Making right choices. Some of you are being guided to your what? Your true divinely guided partner could lead to marriage. Long term, long term, um, long term partnerships could be in the business field. This is the receiving of the big coin for your services. Always give back, big cat, because you never know when the spotlight is on you. Father God is handling out all and justice. Knows their address. If it's a legal situation, it's about to go in your favor. We saw the Knight of Pentecalic. The, the coin has been slow in coming. But they shall pay. Oh, yes. They will pay. Libra energy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This speaks about what? A season of resolution. Karmic justice. For consequences, right? Handled by a black bagger. Yes, a full-on homosexual. Told you, pressed, pumped, and perturbed. Mm -hmm. Them can't eat and them cannot sleep. Either they, either they are too fat 
or them too skinny. Because they are soulless. They're homeless. Yes, baby, possibly worrying where they're going to get the strength. Right? Possibly, right, using their foot from Opanani. Right? To cause another eruption in someone else's life. Listen. Somebody send on the maid. I told you, they want to come back. I know you may think the reads are repetitive, but I have to go with the energy. As I, as I, what? Tap in. I'm what? A gatekeeper and a pointer of the way. You can choose or not to choose to take my advice. Oh, well. Anyhow, let's move on. What's the runestone saying? They ain't saying much. Just one. Listen, when spirit is about to just say, take that, you've got to take it. Good calling, gosh. Wunjo. Mm-hmm. Star energy. I told you, some of you are poised for greatness. This is your time, darling dear. Use the energy of the new moon in Leo to show, showcase your blood clot self. Big up yourself. Get your resume out there. Get your business plans into action. Make them into realities. Right? Start that higher learning. Right? Speculate on properties. Get yourself a new chariot of righteousness. Spoil yourself. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. What's going on now? Oh, yes. As I was saying, Wunjo. The number what? 68 and 79 is important as well as the letters V and W. It also speaks about what? Good news. It's coming to knock on your door, big cat. One that's going to bring a new form of equilibrium, right? Harmony and new joys as well as freedoms outside the comfort zone. Beyond your wildest dreams, darling dear. When the sun shines and it's smiling on you, make sure you bask in it, in all your fabulous, gorgeous loveliness. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get two dominoes and only one rune, right? We've got a three and a two. This goes to a five big cats. This talks about what? Someone is having a problem in their home or you may have a problem around your home. It brings the energy of the Empress as well as the High Priestess, right? Mm -hmm. The three and a two talks about what? An old debt is about to be repaid. Give unto Caesar what is due unto Caesar. The energy of the three comes with the keyword conflict. They still want it with lean. They would love for you to what? Tongue wrestle with them. They're, they're itching, right? For your presence. Why? So they can take you down a peg or two. Because they don't have the intellect, right? To, to argue on an intellectual level about a particular point. When they know they've lost the argument, that's when the hockey sticks come out, darling dear. And they are what? They are... They are masterful with the Shiznai. The two, right, speaks about adventure. This is a time for you what? to what? be spontaneous. It also brings the energy of the High Priestess. This is about putting your third eye on that Mitchell bitch. You sit between the two pillars of wisdom, Boaz and Jashin, completion and beginning, right? A full-on game over. They need to realize this Shiznai. Someone needs to get them a memo. Someone, not you, big cat, because you don't, you don't engage, right? A homosexual, lest you look them in the eye and get caught up again, again. No, no, uh -uh. it's not good, good. Must be avoided. Darkest glass, I say. Mm -hmm. You also have what? Oh yes, the um, it was moon and water energy as well as earth and Venus energy. Love on yourself. Know your worth always. You have the Hierophant and the Fool, darling dear. Didn't I say Father God had his foot on their neck? Karma is being delivered. Security has been dispatched. You need not to worry about that. This also speaks about what the zero five, an unhappy union, whether a business partnership, a marriage, a triangulation, right? Mm -hmm. 
Then no one's happy in that state. Nobody. Right? Mm -hmm. God. Fabulous. This is what? Spirit showing them the unwise, unwise choices they made. They took a leap of faith, a risk on a situation they didn't have all the intel. Was what? Glamorized by the eye. Right? And then what? Given a big slice of Zen vanity. Good. Law 10 of the 48 laws of power. Continue to avoid them. Avoid. Destroyer and hedonist. That's what they are. Black hearted and mean. They are homeless. Cause they're soulless. <laughs> Listen. You are not going to get that tune out of your head today. Uh-huh. As I was saying, the fool, right, is Uranus energy, as well as what? Air energy. This is about you continuing to what? Tap into your rebel side. Continue to take a leap of faith, taking a chance on you. Yes, your path wasn't clear, right? We see the temperance on its face, but it is assured. Continue to go into the forest. The, wood, the trees are always more interesting. The deeper you go in, taking that chance on yourself. Take a leap of faith into yourself. Find how the world, this Malkuf, opens up like an adventure. Mm -hmm. Love it. What else do we need to know? Let's get one of these. I haven't used, I'm starting to use these again. Right, we've got moon energy. Heartfelt. Something out of the ordinary, right, will affect you deeply. Messages of guidance from the divine. Pay attention to the sign, darling dears. The moon also speaks about the dream state. If you get a dream, right, it's a prophetic dream. You need to write that she's naive down, right, and investigate. Start. Conceive, believe, and achieve, big cat. Continue to show up and show out. Look at this, she's naive. Law 25. Of the 48 laws of power, continue to recreate yourself on a daily basis, darling dear. You only have to be better than the cat you was the day before, right? Because you're Chiron, the wounded healer, you found your healing. How did you find that? By acceptance, darling dear, right? You are between worlds, right? The pain was a cleansing. You are shaman, right? This was your initiation and your chance for spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. Let's get another deck. What else? Oh, just this one's flipped all the way. Listen, secrets and lies, darling dear. Let them keep them. You don't care. You're not interested. You're not listening. Easter Island Stevie Wonder because they can't use you anymore. On any level. Right? Continue to spread your wings and fly. Come through, Maxwell! Posh clap! Your pretty wings. Mm-hmm. As you want, glide gracefully, I might add, into the old season of milk and honey. Whatever it is for you, big cat. As you what? Recreate yourself and be what? Adapting law 48 of the 48 laws of power. Be adaptable and on the move. All swells giving them what? Two of these and one of those with a full on what? Matthew 10 14 blood. All day, always. As well as what? A good spattering of Luke 26 11. You understand that this is not the season where you sit. Right? In the trenches. In other words. This is about self-worth. Doing a full-on tinky-winky. Knowing that you cannot be tricked by a lying liar. Lying out there, lying liar hole. These homosexuals. Shape-shifting at me. They are homeless. Cause them soulless. Yes, baby. On that note. I drops me mic, right? Because I've got things to do. I've got to tend to my common sense, get my 10,000 steps in, and I'm not telling you anything else until it's done. As I always say, don't get smoked.
and don't smoke yourself because telling lies to yourself is the worst, worst, the worst there is lie you could ever tell. And as I always say, from the ashes, baby, namaste. Under the new moon in Leo. Cat, 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 cat. <laughs>